Hi Cancer, this is your 2020 January forecast. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. So this year what you are focused on is uh, your commitment uh, to love or to finances and even to yourself. Cancer, you and Capricorn are influenced by all of these uh, eclipses and it is a karmic time for you from about 19, 20 years ago. Do look at 1984 uh, to 6 uh, for renewed um, uh, stories to be going and also uh, 2000 or 2001 those two periods of time are going to be relayed replayed uh, maybe not exactly the same way but they are going to be coming back again so for example also 2008 might be a, a mention as well so if you bought a house uh, you might be selling a house if you bought a house and or you know your finances uh, were depleted and bankruptcy or you lost things rah, 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 you're back in a position where you can change that or you might be going through something similar um, your home and your family is where these major karmic changes are as well as to your finances so you may have lost a family member um, or you know it looks like it's is sometime this year um, you know some friends are gone there's changes in the uh, family home the residence has changed all of those things um, have been happening now Mars is sitting in your fourth home of family roots home property and community um, for the next two years so it's your two-year plan it is about making that strategy what do I want make a plan make a strategy and now start taking action on that now which you would have found that you are doing that in November December but now the hard work continues in your um, career study and finance you do have the page of cups now um, this is you and another water sign who is offering you uh, maybe you get a gift um, you know something to a new wardrobe or a new look about you maybe you're getting a new title what you were before is now changed things are different the way people see you how you see uh, other people there is a change there you almost also might have lost a friend uh, because you see them for who they are now this is about money flying so in January you've got the money there uh, you know it's new position new loan new home um, new money coming in um, there's also options there to have more uh, for some of you if you are going into a new place of employment this is something new it's something exciting it's a different title for you and it's um, got some perks and it's got some luxuries there so you might find that um, through this job or even if it's a um, you know a movement whether it be up or to the side that there is more there available to you you're spending money uh, some of you might be spending money um, going overseas or spending money on what your identity looks like. So if you're uh, blogging, webbing, um, you know, new role, whatever it is, there's something there that looks different. And so you're going to be spending some money there or have money there to be able to um, bring in this newness. In home, there is a bit of a worry here. There's a family decline, whether it be you or um, this is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, where they're sleepless nights off. So whether it be you worried about a family member or your decline, you might be bedridden for some of you with um, pins and needles, headaches, migraines, seizures, um, something that hurts. For others, this is I'm sitting at home and I'm worried. I'm worrying myself. I'm obsessing over things. Um, and this is something that's already out there that I'm sitting here and I'm and I'm uh, unable to sleep because of it. Again, you have all these changes within your family home, and there are three major changes. You might have already had one or two. Uh, because what your home looks like and how you live is is definitely changed. This is not the same as it was before. And at the end, uh, sorry, in 2021, um, it's it's done. You, it's not recognizable of how things were and how things are. Also, this is something of your own making. What are you doing that's a cycle that you continue to um, be, be part of, that you continue to live by? We have to look at that and look what's below the surface here because this is contributing to this worry, this stress, this anxiety, this depression. And this comes in waves and ebbs. So this is where we are looking at this and we're saying, okay, well, 
is this something psychological that I need to address and look at? Now, when it comes to your health, you have got some issues there where maybe you've been uh, working on your health and things have been uh, going good, they've been going bad, and then there's a plateau because there is challenging willful behavior here. And it's about getting back on board and about committing to that. Now, the seventh house is ovaries, lower back, kidneys, veins, and buttocks. So all of those areas, you might find that there is some resistance there, some pain there, some inflammation there in that area and you're avoiding um, doctor's orders or avoiding getting it looked at because this is where I'm, I'm resisting back and saying look this is something I don't want to commit to this is something I don't want to listen to this is something I don't want to believe or even um, uh, other other people pointing the finger and I'm saying you know no that's not right I'm doing it this way when it comes to your love there is uh, an idea of commitment so if we're looking at ourself which we have here with these foundational um, uh, belief systems that we've grown up with this could be what's getting you in your way of finding love you keep uh, dating the same type of person over and over again how are you drawing these people in is this an ideal that you've set yourself from what your belief systems are where you keep attracting someone that is not stable that may lie that may cheat rah, 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 rah. you know this is where you need to look at that now for some of you I am laying awake because I am in a um, you know dating situation or a partnership uh, situation where excuse me where they are uh, have lied um, they've cheated they have in all aspects of dating uh, partnerships I feel like uh, or I'm worried that there is cheating or lying going on I'm worried I feel like that there is no real commitment um, you know being being foundation in this relationship someone's avoiding responsibility someone's avoiding commitment here so if this is someone new, you might be like, oh, again, you know what I mean? So uh, to to be this new person that you are all of this month, it's about taking those steps and looking within yourself and saying, look, this is not what I want to continue in 2020. So I need to make some changes within. It's how I believe, um, my belief systems, the people around me. I need to look at things differently and there are going to be some endings in December where you're starting in January and you're going, all right, well, this is the new me. I'm not going to let people take advantage or lie to me. I'm not going to let people, uh, I'm not going to sit there worrying and, and being stressed out and all those sorts of things about things outside of my control or what people think. In terms of a relationship, uh, a long-standing relationship, look, there's a discussion here where people are pulling each other's strings where people aren't reliable, where they're avoiding, where they uh, need to be, you or them. And we need to put this uh, at a foundational level where we are making those changes there. With our Doring Virtue messages from the angels, and, um, Cancer is... Some of you are worried about the um, the finances here. Um, look, they are looking good, and then we overspend, and then things aren't good, and then we have to worry about that. Also, about what our home looks like. Maybe you're ready to sell our house, and you're worried about that. Like I said before, you could have bought this house in 2007 or 8, and now you're looking to leave that behind because you're ready for this newness, this newness that's coming about, new mortgage, uh, new, um, new lifestyle. Yeah, Daniel's uh, talking about this commitment that you're working on all of this here there are opportunities there Daniel is for love and with um, finances Francesca is talking about this decline I feel like this um, decline is as a cycle that you've been in before so you really got to say you know is this a, a stressful situation of my own making where I overthink I overanalyze there's too many thoughts I focus on on one thing I have these internal conversations and things are starting to clear you're able to see things differently now when you sit back analytically and look at things and Astara says look there is something here to celebrate you are the star of the show you can reach those dreams you can get what it is that you want but this is all of January is about um, new for you new title new status new ambition new people new home something about January is going to bring in some newness now don't forget January the 10th there is another eclipse which is going to bring up emotions good or bad where you don't actually have all the details now so you might have some good news or some bad news and it brings up this emotion in you and but you don't know what the full details are you may not know when you're going to start when you're going to go in uh, when you're going to move whatever the details are you don't have those yet and it can take six to nine months uh, for that to, to be coming out
just as I said that small select few of you might find out that you're pregnant and really don't want to be or really don't know how this is going to work out so you're stressing about that your partner's um, unreliable your relationship's unreliable so this is where that issue is so be kind to you and those you love and from Jedi side Jake may the force be with you